Uh, Josh Green here for Tunks and Tales. Delighted to be joined by one of the newest tour card holders in the PDC, Mr. Adam Hunt. How you doing, Adam? Not bad, mate, you? Yeah, not bad at all. I imagine you're doing a lot better than me after the last week or so down in Milton Keynes, digging it <laughs> out on the last day. What what a story. How how does it feel to get that tour card? Uh, it's, it's still sinking, to be honest. Um, you know, I've had quite a lot of messages off people and stuff, so it's still sinking in. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a crazy last year crazy last year up until then you you probably hadn't performed how you would have expected to perform how was how were you feeling after the first three days of that second stage um well I, I played well in the stage one uh, on the Monday obviously got through automatically played really well um and then Thursday Friday I was I was terrible to be honest I just I just couldn't settle I don't know what it was I said to my brother I was, wasn't settling properly in the games and uh, to be fair my opponents um played well as well you know it wasn't like just me playing bad it was my opponents played well and, and done a job on us Saturday I felt a little bit better um and got beat off Mike Warburton which was a which was a good game but um yeah Sunday obviously just a completely different completely different performance what was the mindset like going into that final day? Did, was the belief really there that you could have that deep run you needed to get that tour card? Um, yes, it was. I, 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 to be honest, I, I've never ever done anything um, the easy way. I've always qualified at the last minute, you know, whether it be for like a world championship or Q school in, in the past or other things. Um, I've always seemed to leave it late and let my family go through some uh, heartache and stuff and... Uh, but yeah, I always believe I can do it. Um, if I got off to a good start, then you know I, I definitely thought I could have done it. And as I got through the day, I kept getting better and better. So yeah, I was just uh, as the day progressed, I started getting more belief. Yeah, on that final day, you came right back from I think it was one point to to get yourself in those spots for a tour card. Uh, did it feel like you were sort of gaining momentum with every win, and it felt more and more possible? Yeah, well, I, I said to my brother as well, I think everyone's going to be under pressure no matter where you are on the points. Everyone's going to be thinking they need to probably just win outright just to just to make sure. And I, I knew I, in my head I had I had to get to the final of the whole day. So I was watching people falling out the, out the points and going home, you're obviously disappointed. And I was just kept winning and getting better. And it was, uh, yeah, the momentum was just building throughout the day. Uh, so uh, as it went on, I believed I could do it. When you did drop out, what was the feeling like then and what did you believe? Did you believe the tour card was still there or? Where, when I lost to Josh? Mm. Uh, I thought I'd lost. I thought I'd lost. I thought I had to beat Josh. Um, I, I I wasn't looking at my phone. I wasn't looking at the rankings tables or anything like that. Um, I, I had I had no idea that, I'd, that you know, I needed five legs. I, it, was a, it was a weird situation. I was looking around and people looked quite calm when I was, I think I went 3-1 up. And I was thinking to myself, have I done enough at this point? And uh, I kept switching off during the game. It was horrible. And then obviously when I when I got told, I thought I'd lost. I went back to the table. I thought I'd lost. And then uh, my brother's just smiling at us and he said, you're in. It was, it was, it was a mental feeling. And yeah, I suppose after all you, you'd been through through the weekend, that must have just been huge relief. Was that one of the overwhelming feelings? Yeah, well... Um, I mean, the cameras were about, so I don't know if they caught it, but I, uh, I burst into tears. Um, I, I, you know, there's just a lot of emotions going on through that day. Um, and it was like from from um, nothing to everything in in the split in the space of like five seconds. So it was just a wave of emotions. It was it was a crazy feeling to to get through. You've obviously been to Q School a few times now. How has it how has it changed since the first time you went there to now? Because the quality is ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's getting better, mate. I think um, you know, the top end's still very very much the same, but I think the bottom ends obviously there's a lot the the, de the strength in depth's a, a lot harder. That's the first time I've ever done both stages, stage one and two. Um, obviously they only brought the two stages in a few years back, so that was the first experience for me, and it was it was just a long week, um, tiring. Um, obviously it's um, but yeah, it it is it is very very tough. But sets you up well for what you've got coming up with with the Pro Tour and those European Tour qualifiers, which are going to be hugely important as well. What does it feel like to be back in that environment? And does it feel like after a year away, you're back where you should be? Yeah, I mean, last year at Q School, I missed out by one game. Um, so I was gutted then. But I think it was quite good actually having 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 the year off and just trying to... Um, 
trying different things. You know, obviously the motor super series great help for me. You know, I was I was forever grateful for them for inviting us down there um, numerous times. It's a great experience. Obviously, challenge. I never did well at challenge tour, but it was a, it was a different experience. But yeah, yeah, I, I always believe I should be on the pro tour, and you know, I'm just glad to be back on there. Yeah, that that year away, were you able to use it as a bit of a reset, or sort of maybe try do a few different things with your darts, try some new competitions, play some different players? It's it's a bit of a different experience to the professional tour, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I played a lot more local stuff, um, which I haven't been able to do for quite a long time. Um, you know, I, I still played even when I was on the pro tour. I just played the odd one, but with with only you know five challenge two weekends, I, I could I could do a lot more darts. But it was it was also just spending time with the family a lot as well, which 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 was a nice thing to do. Um, I could do much more things. You know, I didn't miss any birthdays or anything like that. Um, it was it was a nice it was a nice year off. But um, like I said it, it, um, in the interview with Dan, um, I, I want to get back. You know, I think um, I, I, I have missed it, but it was it was nice to time off as well. Where do you think your game's at as as to where it was a year, 18 months ago when you sort of dropped off the tour? Um well it's 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 the abilities never really change. It's more the confidence side more than anything. Um with with going down to Morris and stuff, I was able to get my game like confidence going again. Obviously the games through multiple games through the day helped us out and you know, I did quite well down there every time I made finals night. I never got through a Morris week, but um you know, I did um, consistently well every time I was down there, and I'm coming. I came into Q school pretty confident, and um, I'm going to be going into the pro tour really confident. And I think that was the difference coming off the tour. I was my confidence was all over the place. I had a shocking year, and um, yeah, I think my game it's just more confidence than anything. I just uh, like fresh start, see what happens. And for you this year and and next year, obviously it's a two year tour card. What do you want to achieve in that time frame? Well, I don't want to go back to Q school, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, want, I definitely want to be in the top 64 and, and, and further further down as well. You know, I want to be um, further up the rankings as possible. Um, I haven't really set any goals yet. I haven't thought of anything. You know, I'd love to be back at Ali Pali. That's the main one. You know, I think everyone wants to be Ali Pali, especially what's happened this year. I think probably probably one of the best world championships there ever has been. Um, so I'd love to get back there. What was it like sitting at home, watching the world championship, missing it a little bit? Well, yeah, that's two years in a row I haven't been there. So, um, yeah, I, I always still watch it anyway. You know, I think it's best. I think the, the World Championship's brilliant. Um, you know, I love the set play format and stuff. Um, and, and, you know, the, the Humphreys let the final was brilliant, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. You spoke a little bit with Dan about, um, you well, you joked about the fact that some of the pro pro players, the top 64 maybe, if they went to Q school, they might find it difficult. Do you think that's the case for most players? If they went to an environment like that, it would be hard work? I just think it's the um because there's only like ten percent of the room on stage two we're going to get through, so there's going to be ninety percent people who are going home disappointed, and I think that's the more intense bit than anything. I didn't mean the ability wise or anything like that. Mm. I just mean because there's only so many spots. I think what was the fourteen spots in the UK and uh, seventeen in Europe. So out of one hundred twenty eight players, there's going to be one hundred and fourteen people going home disappointed, and it's just I think that's the more the intense bit about it because the, I mean I looked at the people who have lost the cards and then didn't get the card back and things like that. And people who just missed out and there's some great players, you know what I mean, who aren't going to be on the tour this year. It's uh, it's, it's just a, such a tough, such a tough week. And even players stuck on, stuck on zero that couldn't get off the mark. I don't, I think one of the, the favourites going into Q school was probably someone like Daryl Pilgrim, who who ended up, I think, on, it was either zero or one points. I mean, surprising that you had top quality players that just couldn't get going. Yeah, that's just the, that's the the unique pressure of Q schools. Sometimes, as sometimes it goes um, really well for people. Sometimes that you just have just just enough week. You know, you can't put your finger on it. You you caught it. We're playing well, and it doesn't happen. And there was another one who my my brother was playing in it as well. My brother and he played uh, Conor Hennigan. I think he was one of the um, he was one of the favourites to get a card as well, and he didn't even get through stage one. So that just shows how tough it is. If 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 you know you know hitting the ground running. We know how much of a tight knit unit it up is up in the northeast with the the lads up there. Any messages from from the others? Yeah, yeah, we've got a you know we've got a group chat, um, and they all they all wished us you know when when it came in there was just loads of messages coming through saying well done and stuff. And you know there's a few players on tour who've messages as well. So um, you know I've got some good mates on the tour who who, who wished as well and stuff. And yeah, it's just gonna be nice to get back on the tour with them. First. Draw of the Pro Tour yourself versus Chris. That'd be that'd be the one, would it? <laughs> no, I'd, I'd like to avoid anyone from the northeast. Um, <laughs> but other than that, I don't mind who I play. You know, it's just uh, it's just be great to be back, and we'll see what happens.
No, good stuff, Adam. Really appreciate it. And best of luck for the time coming up. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot.